three days in Mallorca. Let's go. It's a sunny day. It's so bright, so bright, so bright. It's a sunny day. It's so bright, so bright, it's so bright. We've landed and we've decided to be cheapskates and not get a taxi to the hotel because it's only a 15 minute walk away, hopefully, but it's the midday sun, it's quarter to 12, so we're just gonna brave it and then get there for some food. Welcome to our room in this five star resort. Let's do a tour. Stop number one, the bathroom. As you can see, all the necessary Amenities. We have aircon. We have glasses. We want to push these together, Jack. <laughs> this is actually nice, isn't it? Okay. I feel like a millionaire. Go on, balcony, look at that. Look at the view. The sea. Can you see the sea? <laughs> you can't. <No. laughs> Stop number one. We're at the main beach just next to Palma and in the hunt of some food. Actually much nicer than I expected to be honest. Yeah, really nice. Very sandy, not too busy. Yeah. Very solid beach that. Checks nice and oily. Yep. Got a good tan on. Good start to the first day. Now we're gonna smoothie up <laughs> and get into Palmer. Water was a good temperature as well. The sea is nice and clear and the sand is clear. Nice and clear. <laughs> Which banana you got? <laughs> Slides of banana. I realised that I didn't film any of the actual beach, but you've seen a beach before. Just imagine sand and water. And um, we're going to go to some cooler ones. It's and tits, yeah, <laughs> it was a uh, very top half nude and we couldn't work out whether it was allowed or not. But then after about 20 minutes of seeing more tits than I've seen in my entire life, I think it's uh, safe to say it was, uh, yeah, legally, <laughs> legally justified. So yeah, uh, we're gonna see a couple more cooler beaches. We're heading like to different parts of the island anyway in the next couple of days. So um, yeah, you'll get some top off action there. I'm sure you're thrilled to see um, and buzzing to see Jack in all his glory after all of his years of hard work. Um, yeah, and we had a lager in the belly by the time that we were on the <laughs> beach today, so it wouldn't have been the most flattering anyway. And now we're just strolling around the center of Palma. Time is half past seven. And gonna get some tapas. And as you can see, we're taking a stroll through the quainter part of town. So I said tapas, but I meant paella, <laughs> and that's what we got. That was an unbelievable paella and a lovely setting, and um, we're on two phone numbers in one day now, aren't we, Jack? Who's we? You? We, both of us. She said if either of you have got. <laughs> Successful night in the Cuba. town of Palmer in Cuba Hotel, rooftop bar, with Jack Crosley and Adam Radcliffe. I've had a beer. <laughs> have, you, have you had a beer? Six. <laughs> Good night. Who's coming in? See you tomorrow. See, you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. rolling start of day two um, tonight took a last night took a rather unexpected turn we how did we start off so yeah we had that paella was where I stopped filming uh, then we went to a couple of bars in Santa, Santa Catalina which is the main sort of drinking area more for well locals and tourists and it was funny it only really clicked about two bars in we had some unreal cocktails uh, what's the name of that place 
I'll Ooh. put it. I'll put it on the screen Ag anyway. Aga. Aga. Ag uh, yeah, Bar Aga, something like that. Um, then we moved on, and it was in that in the next couple of bars where we clocked like we're the only English people here. We've not met met or heard <laughs> a single other Brit. Um, and then all of a sudden we clocked that everyone else was either German, Dutch, or well, no, just at that point it was German or Dutch, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so then we had one more place on the list. We wanted to try this rooftop bar. Went up to the top, and it was a little bit dead it was a nice atmosphere a nice little view um, but it was a little bit dead and we were like okay cool we'll, we'll call it there we're gonna have a big one tomorrow uh, and it was about probably half, half one at this point yeah 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 about that yeah so then burst in for the toilet yeah. we're like yeah let's let's head off jack we'll go home so take the elevator all the way down and ask the bouncer so where's the toilet mate and he says just next door guides us next door into the nightclub <laughs> where it's absolutely teeming yeah. <laughs> um, te teeming in more ways than one so ab uh, yeah absolutely full to the brim and we you're in Swedish heaven yeah so you step in and it's as if you've asked God to d design a <laughs> nightclub for you if you could if you could design a nightclub it would be a ratio of two to one every single person in there was a 10 out of 10 <laughs> swedish girl uh i know what was it danish danish and swedish, danish, swedish literally everyone Norwegian. in there was everyone in there was scandinavian <laughs> and so jack and i were just like <laughs> um but yeah good night and then obviously it's one o'clock now we're just starting our day so when did we get back about three? yeah we got back about yeah three 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 ish yeah so things got a bit irresponsible um and that wasn't even the big one we've got to start now we're in the park. You know the name? No. We're in the park. Oh, that's that's going to be annoying. Yeah, we're in the park now, just killing some time because we've got 45 minutes till we get in the tram all the way to a town called Sol. Oh, my, I'm butchering all of these pronunciations. Soleil, I think it's pronounced. And it's yeah. the Ferro Carol. Is the name of the tr train? So it's Ferro Carol de Soleil. I figured you'd be very keen to know the name of that rooftop bar as well. So it was called Cuba, the hotel. Uh, and yeah, you got the sort of the clubby bit underneath and the rooftop bar on top, which is logical, right? Yeah. Um, except if you want to get drunk in there, you've got no chance because uh, there's one barman who literally couldn't do anything. We were watching him trying to pour shots <laughs> and not a single drop was coming out. I you asked the him, lid on. <laughs> I asked him for, there was actually one point where these two girls in front of us bought some drinks and shots. I didn't realize they bought shots actually. I thought they just got a couple of beers <laughs> and uh, he was taking so long to get the card machine out, like it was a joke. He was been stood there for like five minutes waiting to order, and he was trying to just do whatever. Like he couldn't make it work, whatever. And so the girls were like, "Should I just go?" Well, no, actually, I suggested. <laughs> I was like, "You should just go," because I wanted to get to the front, and then he he clearly wasn't all there. So then she left. He comes back and he's like, "Where are the chicas?" <laughs> um, and so I was like, "Yeah, yeah fuck it, yeah, I'll pay for them." <laughs> so yeah, got myself into a bit of shit there. Um, and yeah, we managed one drink in the entire time we were in there. So maybe some yeah. maybe some pre in tonight. I'll record Jack downing half a bottle of vodka before we go. made our way down to the Port de Soleil. Oh. Good pronunciation, Adam. <laughs> and we've been, met some people that have been staying here and recommended a good pizza spot. So we're gonna smash that for lunch, get in the sea, and then have a mooch. Fancy a mooch? Yeah, about 20 minutes before yeah. we have to go back. Yeah, very pleasant train ride though. Tram ride. Train, train ride. Night time. We've got the vodka powerades at the ready. Off for some sushi uh, and see where the night takes us. Final night in Palma. How many times can I say night in this video? Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, Jack's had a beer. He's very lively. Beer. Oh my God. It is the morning of... <laughs> morning of what? 
of the day. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything to say. It's the morning, we're getting the bus to the other part of the island, the big island, that has many other parts. We're going to one of them. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome, damn sun indeed. Welcome to Cala Santani. It's the final day, and this looked like the best beach in the area, so we got a bus. It was only about an hour and a half in total. Quite interesting driving through the less inhabited parts of the island, uh, and this is one of the highest rated beaches, clearly, for a reason. Looks great. Uh, little cove. So we've got a few hours here, and then, yeah, that's uh, coming towards the end of the trip, so just gonna. Soaking the loss of the sun now. It's quite a mouthy coast dish in terms of the little cove and seaside town. Um, can't complain at all. Jack's made himself a, a bed. He's having a look. <laughs> Very comfy. Go and disturb him. <laughs> if we had more time definitely would have gone to the beaches of the north uh that's pretty much always missed isn't it yeah in terms of what was on the initial list there's obviously beaches like this all around all around the island but they get harder and harder to get to and we didn't have much time to commute either so this was perfect for us to get somewhere a bit more secluded um and spend the last afternoon and palmer is a city like I guess I had no expectations, so to be pleasantly surprised by every meal we've had has been fantastic. Yeah. Great food and just great, great atmosphere. It felt very like authentic Spanish the entire time. Yeah. So we actually picked this island because we were looking at last minute flights. We booked about three weeks, two or three weeks before we actually went and we were looking at the cheapest flights available. We paid 80 quid in total for our return flights, um, 100 pound a night. 100 pounds total, well, 100 pounds a night for the hotel, so two nights we did, so only 100 quid each. And yeah, obviously cheap on paper, but then when you get here, everything's relatively expensive. So if you wanted a, a cheap long weekend or, or a cheap week, then you're not really gonna, not really gonna find it here. But it's all been worth the money. Uh, and if you wanna get around cheaply, buses is 100% of the way. So uh, the buses in town were two pound per two euro per whatever distance journey you take. Or you, or you get across the island five euros yeah so we've done done this like two hour trip uh for just five euros which yeah. uh, but taxis literally a 10 minute taxi ride is going to cost you 15 to 20 euros so that eats eats into it quite a lot uh is what it is it is what it is but also if you're a massive pervert <laughs> it's great value for That's a lovely way to finish, isn't it? Look at that. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed watching our antics and please subscribe. Right, Jack, if you need to? Yeah. Well, you, if you don't want to, then don't. But what time does it take out of your day? And I really, I need the help, don't I? I need to get to 200. Thank you very much, everyone, so far, getting to 145, so really appreciate it. Um, and leave a comment as well. Stuff you liked, stuff you didn't. Whether you thought Jack was funny or not? Probably not. No? Right, see you next time.